Um, I, I just have really a couple of quick questions. I, I've, I've heard repeatedly that um, the the 23 percent um, limit has not been been hit. What exact? Where are we then? I mean, how far away from that 23 percent are we? It, it varies by. We're 22.6 in total right now. Mm -hmm. That's why I brought up specifically the that, example of sure. Norway. Sure. Okay. Because there's a 98 million dollar contract that could be all small business, but the contract officers, it's easier to administer one contract than rather five, than than five or four or three or anything else. So if I can so use it to one company, yeah. I've done my job. Contract is let, so be it. Move on. We're just like to streamline it, try to get it through. And then again, there's a five percent for women-owned right. contracts. How far away are we on that? Well, the the. I think the last count, the SB, SBA said we were about 4 percent, but we have to understand is there are a lot of the data that's been out there mm -hmm. has been flawed over the years, mm -hmm. so we don't know what's accurate. We did a study a few years back and two years running, SAIC was the number one woman-owned firm accessing contracts. Not that they were a woman-owned firm, but they were, they were, you know, shown, mm -hmm. and so that's the number was skewed. And then last year also the uh, Inspector General for the SBA came out and said that the uh, error rate was about 96 percent in the data for okay, the SBA. Okay, so there, there's a real So we don't really know what the true data is. That's kind of what it is. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you take a look at the 23 percent, again, it doesn't include the exclusions. Uh, which we calculated over the last five years is about sixty billion dollars in lost opportunities for small businesses. Mm -hmm. Okay, that, so and so therefore, you know, that's one of the issues that we need to really be looking at. Then is to is to make sure that we're getting accurate data. I mean, based based on what what's out there. The other issue, and and you know, I, I know we've addressed this um, considerably for for those small um, business owners who who have performed so well at the small mm -hmm. at that level, and they've basically grown into that mid level mm -hmm. size, and now. Unfortunately, they're competing with those much larger entities, and they just simply can't compete. What, Ms. Speed, what would you say? What is an answer there for that? What, what can we be doing to help that situation? I think we should look at both pilots that Mr. Rogers and Mr. Connolly both have. Uh, they both are sound le legislative vehicles for looking at how we grow business. But I also want to just talk just one more point about the pilot that we really didn't get a chance to mm -hmm. address, and that is in the pilot and in the concept of it, uh, the ability to grow, you uh, for the small companies, they can continue to bid up. That's something we did not talk about. But in terms of the larger ones and the mid-sized ones who are emerging, they don't bid down. So in effect, if there's a, mm -hmm. a contract award that goes out on the street, small businesses can still team and align themselves in all the ways that uh, are under SBA's guidance and rules which we, are, I think, are hearing today should be applied to the midsize as well and the emerging firms, then what we should be doing is bid, allowing companies to continue to grow and bid up mm -hmm. and not have the larger ones coming down, which is what we're seeing from the very large integrators. And Mr. Um, Mr. Yuckins, um, you're the, the only one that hasn't commented. What, what would you say to that? Is that... In, ter in terms of increasing opportunity? Yeah, just, just to making sure that those companies that have moved their way up and now they're unfortunately lumped into that much larger group and, and really incapable of competing um, with that larger entity. Is, do you see solutions there that, that we can um, be, be approaching? Yeah, we can actually, the Europeans have dealt with exactly this question, same question over the last few years. For, for internal political reasons, the Europeans can have a category called small business that they give preference to. Mm -hmm. So what they did is they did a comprehensive review of their procurement rules and they said, what can we do to make life easier for small and medium-sized businesses? Not necessarily creating rigid preferences, but how can we facilitate their involvement in this mm -hmm. marketplace? And that, that effort is ongoing in Europe right now. We should do the same thing here. That's what the Obama administration is doing with this, with this business breakthrough program but expand that. F do a comprehensive review of the rules and figure out how do we make life easier for small and medium-sized businesses. Thank you very much. I yield back the remainder of my time.